In our coaching program, we have a members only forum. And I got this question the other day from a, a lady. She's doing great. Uh, and she wanted to share her success with her daughter, her teenage daughter. And she was asking me for some keto snacks that maybe a teenager would be interested in. So I did, um, I did share a few ideas. You know, maybe teenagers might not be as interested in quality and just to get started, uh, you know, bee sticks, cheese sticks, uh, nuts and seeds, those types of things are maybe something that a teenager is going to be a little bit more interested in. But the challenge was that from what she wrote, I really didn't get the impression that her daughter was really totally on board with keto or totally on board with even just eating a low carb, high fat diet. She wanted her daughter to be on that, I think so. but yeah. I think so. And so hence the uh, video here, you can't just be a little, a little keto. Because here's the, here's the problem. If she gives her daughter meat and cheese, and then her daughter leaves the house and five minutes later she's drinking a Coke and she's eating a cupcake, she's going to be in a worse position than she would be if she hadn't <laughs> eaten the fat. Yeah. Because fat and carbs don't mix. Not at all. And that's what, uh, when, when I talk to my patients at the clinic who are, who are asking about the, the ketogenic diet, um, it's not for everybody because you have got to be committed to it. You, are, you, you have to be all in, 100%, because if you're not, it's going to backfire on you and you could end up fatter than you were before. Right. And, you know, that, the reason for that is it is pretty simple. Right. Well, so um, refined carbs, sugary type foods, they're going to raise your, your blood sugar, which is going to increase the insulin that is in, in your body. Well, insulin, we've talked about it many times, right? It's an anabolic store, uh, hormone. It's a storing hormone. It is storing fat if there's nowhere else for those nutrients to go. So if you are eating uh, a, a cupcake and then you have something fatty, well, that cupcake is going to break down into sugar. Insulin goes, spikes up, and now you're putting fat in your body. Well, your body has all of the energy it needs from that cupcake. That sugar has filled up all of the, all of the necessary uh, glycogen storage that it needs. There's ex probably excess sugar there and there's fatty acids. They don't have any work to go. They don't have any purpose right now. They're going to go into fat storage for future energy. Yeah, uh, you know, a donut is like probably the best example of the worst food because you know, it's all this sugar and dough, and then it's deep fried in fat. So it's a mm -hmm. huge bump in sugar, a huge bump in fat, and guess where it all goes? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. So that is, that is the first reason I would say that you, you can't just be a little bit keto. The, the next one is that your goal, your ultimate goal of a keto, being on a ketogenic or low carb diet is to get your body to become a better fat burner. Right. So, and we've talked about this before too, but you have in your cells, you've got this mechanism, the Krebs cycle in the mitochondria, all these different mechanisms for making uh, ATP, which is the energy you, your body runs on. Most of us um, have been living on sugar for so long that our bodies have the enzymes and the, the little inter intermediary things to go into that process readily available. So sugar is very easily put through that cycle. Mm -hmm. When you start using fatty acids, it's different. You need different things to change those fatty acids into the intermediaries and get them into that cycle where they can produce energy. And that's one of the reasons that, that, that it takes a few days to kind of get that, mm -hmm. those things going, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe even longer if, if, you're, if you're just going low carb and you know, not you know, specifically ketogenic. Um, but you need to turn your cellular machinery from a sugar burning machine to a fat burning machine. It's kind of like, it's just a different fuel source. Mm -hmm. So if you think of your car, you, if you've got a diesel car, you can't put regular gasoline in mm -hmm. it and vice versa as well. It doesn't work in the machinery. So you got to change the machinery. You got to change the machinery if you want to use the different gas yep. source. Yep. Yeah, and that's why you know we, we just not too long ago we did a video on uh, why low fat and low carb 
diets don't work if you're trying both of those so we can we can link to that too but essentially you need to be feeding yourself the fats and keeping the sugar away from your diet so that your body says well i guess this is the fuel that i need to burn right. now and, and you become a better fat burner you need to force it to do that you do and your body will always easily switch right back to glucose you get to yep. give it some sugar boom it goes right back into that machinery right. because those things are always there it's very easy it doesn't take a lot of energy to do that yeah so that's why you, you just have to be when we talk about being all in 100 percent you have got to stick with that very low carb um low carb very low carb mm -hmm. for keto um and and get your fat burning machinery up so so there you go um just a couple of reasons why uh you know if you're if you're going to go low carb and, and high fat stick with that plan don't you don't think you can flip flop back and forth and if you are just if you're just getting started um you know this is you know, if, if you haven't been following our channel uh this guy lost 80 pounds on on camera uh doing a ketogenic diet and uh, we will link to to those videos so you can binge watch those but he got started with cutting the sugar out and um getting some more high fat foods in so if you want to know that uh, we have a starter kit put together that shares our 0123 strategy and the foods that Keith cut out of his diet and put into his diet yep. so we will make that available to you as well that should do it for this one all right hey thanks so much for watching please subscribe to our channel we'll be back soon with another video yep. see you thanks. next week so uh, do I just start with a story I guess so I could I'm a storyteller